in good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on in good shape. And joining me now in the studio is knee specialist Professor Wolf Petersen from Berlin. A very warm welcome to you. Thanks for being with us in the Hello. studio. Hi. Dr. Petersen, just how common are those injuries and ruptures of the ligaments inside the knee? The anterior cruciate ligament uh, rupture is the most common ligament rupture in the knee joint. And the frequency is about 1 per thousand people. And the most frequent age group is 15 to 25. 15 to 25, so yeah. very young patients. Yeah. These are very active patients and activity is correlated to um, ligament ruptures. Mm -hmm. So activity like, like walking around, no, like, like sports? Sports, um, pivoting sports such as soccer and handball and basketball. Mm -hmm. And sometimes um, the patient doesn't even realize that he has a ruptured uh, cruciate ligament. Mm -hmm. How's that? Some patients can compensate the instability and some patients cannot. Um, and some patients can partially compensate the instability. And uh, if the acute symptoms such as pain uh, and, uh, and swelling resolve, then the instability may be unnoticed because the instability is not painful. But when the first pain occurs, then this is a sign of a subsequent meniscus lesion and then it is often too late. So when the cruciate ligament ruptures, it's painful. And after this, the pain resolves. And if the knee gets unstable, then there's another pain. And if the patient compensates for that, yeah. then he's not painful. Yes. But do you need to treat it? You need to treat a symptomatic instability. If the patient feels the instability, we call that giving way events. Okay. When he realizes those giving way events, this is an indication for surgery. And when you have a very severe objective instability, which you can measure as a surgeon. Mm -hmm. And if you go through surgery, how long does it take until you fully recover? In the first two or four weeks, you will protect the knee joint by partial weight bearing with crutches. Mm -hmm. um, and then up to the six weeks, the knee is protected by restriction of the range of motion. You, we use a knee brace for that. And then this period is followed by an further period of intensive physiotherapy where the patient regains strength, balance abilities or coordinative uh, abilities. And the patient should not return to competitive sports before the sixth or eighth postoperative month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I would decide against surgery, against an operation, what are the most common dangers involved in non, not treating those ligament ruptures? The most uh, important uh, danger is uh, to get a meniscus lesion because okay. the meniscus, the status of the meniscus is uh, um, very um, closely associated with the prognosis uh, of the knee joint after an ACL rupture because the meniscus protects the knee joint and uh, if we have a loss of the meniscus, the load uh, is uh, transmitted and um, then we have a risk for um, um, osteoarthritis. Okay, the osteoarthritis is uh, very painful in the long run, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Pain, uh, osteoarthritis is, uh, can be very painful in the long run. Mm -hmm. Dr. Peterson, what sort of treatment would you recommend with a torn meniscus? In cases with an acute meniscus lesion, I always recommend surgery because in those acute lesions, we always have to change uh, a chance to repair the meniscus by a refixation or a suture. In chronic lesions, degenerative lesions, we have to decide individually in those patients who are asymptomatic, we can uh, treat the meniscus or the, the patients conservatively mm -hmm. without surgery. But if the patient is symptomatic, if he has pain at the inner joint space or positive meniscus signs, and when we then we see then the meniscus lesion on the MRI, we should go for surgery. I think this asymptomatic meniscus is the case with one of our viewers. Michael Penny from Australia writes that an MRI scan revealed a torn meniscus and he's asymptomatic, no pain in the knee. What should he do? Well, then uh, you can leave the meniscus as it is. Okay. Uh, you don't have to go for surgery. Uh, an arthroscopy is not indicated in this case. Mm. So nothing to worry no. as long as it's not painful. No. Okay. But if it's painful and if you decide to go for surgery, there's something like an artificial meniscus implant. How does this work? 
Ja, uh, artific uh, artificial meniscus implants are available today. They are made of uh, bovine collagen, for okay. example. Mm -hmm. And we use it if we have a segmental meniscus defect in symptomatic chronic patients. Mm -hmm. And are there some persons who are especially prone to knee injuries or knee disease? Yes, persons with a deviation of the leg axis, such, a, mm -hmm. such as a varus knee or a valgus knee, they are prone to injuries or de de degenerative changes of the knee joint. And you have to see a doctor then, if um, there's a deviation of the axis? No, if, if you have only a deviation of the axis, you, you have not to go to the doctor. But if you experience pain and have a deviation of the axis, then you should see the doctor. So yes. pain again is the key yeah. when to see a doctor? I recommend always to go to the doctor if you have pain in your knee. In our report, we saw some athletes struggling with knee problems. So usually in our show, we say, go and out, go for a jog, do some sports. Is sport good for the knee or is it a risk factor? Depends on the sport. Some sports are very good, such as swimming, jogging mm -hmm. in the forest or uh, walking, mm -hmm. Nordic skiing, for example. But we also have risk sports, high risk sports, such as soccer, handball, team handball or basketball. So all those competitive sports are really dangerous for, for yes. knee joint then. So if you experience some pain, should you go through the pain and push yourself through the sports or should you just stop? No, if you experience pain during sportive activities, you should stop. You should go to your doctor and see what's wrong with your knee. Mm -hmm. So is it just pain or is it a, f a feeling of instability? When should I see the doctor? In both cases, if you feel that your knee is unstable, you should go to the doctor. But if you have pain, you also should go to the doctor. Mm. And the orthopedic specialist or the GP? I would recommend to go straight to the orthopedic if you have okay. a problem with your knee. Okay. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you.